what it is. It's me, Groovy Nate, and I'm a music teaching artist. That's right. And today, we're going to explore creating rhythm patterns using names. This video is part of the Kennedy Center Education's online collection, Teaching Artists Present, where teaching artists from all over the country lead arts activities that you can enjoy and do from the comfort of your home. What is a rhythm pattern, you ask? Hmm, think of it, it like a sequence of things. Yeah, yeah. It could be a long sequence of things or a short sequence of things. It can be a slow sequence of things. You know, a fast sequence of things. All we need for this lesson is our body. There's lots of cool sounds on the body. Right? And our voice. We can change the, the, the pitch in our voice. We can have a high voice, right? Or a low one. Or a mean. Or silly. Or silly. Put them up. Right? We can even use our voice to make sound effects. Right? So we'll use the name John for our first rhythm pattern. Now, John has one syllable in the name. And to use a name musically, we must first establish a steady beat. I will play a steady beat on my lap. Yes. Now just watch me with your watching eyes. Watch me. Listen to me with your listening ears. Listen to me while I play the steady beat like this. Now I can say the John rhythm like this. John. 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 Or John, 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 or John, 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 and stop. Those are a few different ways to make the name John a musical pattern. Oh, <laughs> let me explain this. This is my hand cue, and I just made myself stop with my hand cue. When we say the John rhythm and play our steady beat and I hold out this hand cue, that means we all have to stop. You don't have to put your hand up. Just watch out for me. Now it's time for us to say the John rhythm and play a steady beat on our lap. Watch me first and I'll show you how we're going to say the John rhythm. Here I go. John. John. John! John! And stop. Only four times we will say the John rhythm. Notice I changed the sound in my voice. Made it sound a little silly. Now, me and you will say the John rhythm four times and play the steady beat on our lap. Here we go. John! 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 Now stop. Good job with that John rhythm. But you know, that was pretty easy, wasn't it? Let's take it to the next level and use another name to create our rhythm pattern. Let's use the name Giovanna. Yes. Now remember, when I said that the John, the name John has one syllable in it. Whereas Giovanna has, well, let's see, G O B A N A. Oh my goodness, four syllables. Woo! Could do a lot with that name, but we'll keep it simple right here. I will first play my steady beat on my lap once again, 
And just listen with your listening ears and watch me with your watching eyes. And I will say the Giovanna rhythm four times. Here I go. Giovanna. 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 And stop. Notice I changed the sound of my voice. Made it a little silly, too. Mm -hmm. So, now me and you, let's say the Giovanna rhythm together four times while playing a steady beat on our lap. Let's first start our steady beat right here. All right. Here we go. Giovanna. Giovanna. Giovanna! Giovanna! And stop! Very, very nice. What kind of rhythm pattern can you create using your own name? Would you change the sound of your voice to create it? What part of the body would you use to play your steady beat? See, we did it on our lap. Maybe you can try your belly, or your elbow, or your cheeks. Maybe you want to stomp a steady beat on the floor. Maybe you want to go in the kitchen, play a steady beat using some spoons, you know. Giovanna, John. John, 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 John. How cool is that? Whatever you do, have fun with it. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you will explore other videos in the Kennedy Center Teaching Artists Present Collection. Thanks for watching.